Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Dreaming of Disney 24-7. I hope you're all doing okay. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Rachel and uh, welcome. It's uh, nice to see you. And if you're not new to my channel, then hi, well, hi, and it's still nice to see you just as much. So today I'm doing a Disney tag video, which I was tagged by Courtney from Courtney's Small World. I will link her channel below. She's a fantastic vlogger. She's a really lovely person. So please, please, please check her out. So I've been dying to do something like this for such a long time. It's a Disney get to know me tag. So I've got 20 questions I need to answer about all things Disney. And I will give you my most honest answers. I will probably struggle to give you one answer. Probably with a couple of questions. We'll have a couple of uh, answers to that one. So uh, yeah, so here we go with the first question. So I'll, if, if you excuse me, I'll keep looking down on my phone because the questions are on my phone. So apologies. So, first question, what is your favourite Disney memory? So, I've got two. Um, basically, they're from my trip in 2015. It was Ollie's first trip to Disney World. We'd, it was our very first day in Magic Kingdom. We'd been to see Mickey Mouse at is it Town Square, Town I can never remember what the name of it is. And at that time, it was the Talking Mickey Mouse. So, I, know, I loved the Talking Mickey Mouse. I know not everyone was a fan of him, but I loved him. And the first time, it was basically Ollie's first time meeting, meeting Mickey Mouse. We took him in to see him and he just ran over to him. If I can try and find the video, I will try and insert because I did video it obviously because that's just who I am. I video everything. Um, I videoed it. It was just the most amazing moment. And Mickey was talking to Ollie. Anna was talk Ollie. Ollie was talking to Mickey. It was just amazing. And I was as standard sobbing like a big old baby behind the camera. So that was just an amazing moment. He was showing. He was telling Mickey, "This is my mom. This is my dad." And it was just amazing. If I can find that footage, I will insert it. But it was just. Um, insert it into the clip. Sounds awful, doesn't it? I was bouncing with Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Do you like to bounce? Do you like to? Yeah. Well, here, do it with me. Bounce, 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 bounce. That was fun. Do you think I can get a picture with you? Hot dog. Okay, like a mommy. I'm video. It's okay. Does he need her? Um. Yes. Yeah, so that was. Oh, it was just such a magical moment for i mean we'd never been at that point we'd never been to disney with a child before so we were quite nervous about how it was going to go um at the time i think ollie was two and a half years old so which a lot of people i know are quite wary of taking kids that age because you know two and a half obviously the child, child's not gonna remember it which obviously we knew that when we took him but even though he doesn't remember that moment i do and honest to god it was one of the most amazing it was the most amazing memory from my from all of my disney holidays um, it was just, it was just magical. So that's another, my second one, it was same holiday again. It was at Epcot and we went to meet Santa at the American Pavilion. Um, well, I remember sitting outside, we had to see him queue, queue outside waiting for him and Mrs. Claus as well, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And I remember them bringing him in and I'll show you a photo of this afterwards, obviously Mickey, um, the Santa and Mrs. Mrs. Claus. And oh my God, I just went, oh my God, it's Santa. And I've never ever seen a Santa like it in my life and, and as per normal I started crying but at that point I was quite nervous about Ollie meeting Santa because the year previous he'd cried when it came to meeting Santa I was quite nervous how it was going to go but I remember we had the family photo and I literally had to peel Ollie off Santa's lap and Mrs Claus was laughing because he kept saying I want this for Christmas I want that for Christmas bear in mind there was a huge queue of people still waiting to meet Santa so he was like come on come on I was literally trying to get him off my lap get him off Santa Claus's lap but oh my god, it was just the most amazing moment. I will have, a, I've got quite a few photos of that, so I'll definitely uh, put in a photo of that. But yeah, it was just the most magical moment. And for me, I don't, even though like, Ollie, again, like I say, Ollie never remembers that moment. For me, it's just, it was priceless. And I know a lot of people are put off by taking young kids, because obviously, like I say, they don't remember it. But I don't regret it at all. And I, I would have done it, you know, I'd, I'd do it over and over again. It was just, it's a different holiday when you take a child for the first time, but... The, mo the memories we got from that holiday were just magical. I'm so glad I captured my camera 
I said, I don't, oh, that footage is still on, on a computer somewhere. It's not on my new one. But it was just, oh, amazing. So that for me, even though we did get engaged at Disney World, we did get engaged into the castle. That's a whole different kind of story. Um, that, yeah, for me, that was my most amazing Disney memory of, Disney memories, should I say, of all time. So, sorry, go look at my phone again for question two. Do apologise. So, what is your, who is your, fa or what is your favourite, well, what is your favourite Disney character and why? So, I can't pick one, I'm afraid. Do apologise for that, but who can really? It's impossible. So, it has to be Mickey and Minnie. I mean, they are the king and queen of Disney for me. And, you know, it all started with a mouse, as they say. And, yeah, I love Mickey and Minnie. They're just, they are just the best. As you can say, why? They just, they just are. They're, like I say, they're the king and queen. They are, they are just amazing. I love meeting Mickey and Minnie. They're just, I don't know what else to say. They're an amazing, really. But, yeah, they're my two favourites. And as maybe favourite princess, oh, that's a question later on. So, I'll, I won't answer that one for now. So, I'll leave that till a bit later on. Okay, so question number three is, what is your favourite Disney pin and why? So this is my favourite Disney pin. I don't know how it's going to, if it's going to be blurry. I'll just put it back a bit. Ah, can you see it better? That's it. So it's a 25 year anniversary pin. The pin, now hold on, see if I can hold it. Not very well. It, oh, it turns. I love it. Oh God, how am I holding it upside down now? Yeah, so that's my favourite Disney pin. It's just, I just like it because it's a bit unusual from everything else. It moves. And that's pretty much, I don't, I don't have that many pins. I was intending to collect Disney pins on our last holiday. As if you've watched the vlogs, you would have noticed. But I never ended up buying a lanyard. I thought if one of those things, if I would have done, I should have done from the start. Hard. I never did. And I know what I'm like. If I start buying one, then I have to fill the whole lanyard. So I didn't bother. I do collect other Disney pins. So I collect the Minnie's Mouse's main attraction ones. But as regards to going to Disney parks, I've, I haven't got that many. I've most of mine from Disneyland Paris. I do have two from my last trip, which was... And one of those was one of my favourites, but typical, I couldn't find it, which is always the way. It was a Halloween pin from the Halloween party. That was a, um, an exclusive one. And I bought the one from our Port Orleans French Quarter Resort. But again, typical. As soon as I come to find them, can't find them anywhere. But this one I love just as much. It's all spinny. So yeah, that's my favourite Disney pin. So question four is what is my favourite Disney song? So this is my this is my ultimate for me. It's a circle of life from the Lion King, the one that's on the film, not the Elton John version. So this song for me is just something that it always gets a reaction out of me. I remember the first time me and my sisters went to watch the Lion King at the cinema, my parents took us. I must have been about 13 at the time. And obviously, typically most people cry, you know, when Mufasa dies, because you know, it's sad. I'm not I'm not just saying it isn't, but that's the kind of bit that most people tend to crack for the film but for me it was just the beginning when it you know all the animals were just running everywhere and the music and obviously you know when Rafiki held Simba up and stuff oh, I've never I've never tried to swallow so hard in all my life trying to stop the tears from just coming because I, I was trying not to cry because I just felt like if people saw me crying at that bit everyone would have probably thought I was a bit mental and I'm sure my sister would have took the mick out of me but I'll never forget that and even now when I hear the music it's just, it just has, I just hate, just, I just react that way to it. It's just such an amazing song. And I've never known a song ever have, make me react that way that quickly. Um, even when I go to watch a festival of the Lion King, the Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom Park, I feel the exact same way. I've still not seen the Lion King on, um, in the West End yet, so that's something we do need to still try and do. Because I'm sure as soon as I hear that live, I will just be a blubbering wreck. But yeah, that is my favourite Disney song. Um, my next two, I know I'll probably... That's not part of the question, but my next one is When You Wish Upon a Star, and the, the third one is um, At Last I See the Light from Tangled. Again, two of the songs that make me very, very emotional, but yeah, Circle of Life for me, that's my number one, definitely. So, what is your favourite Pixar movie now? Judging by the ears and what I'm wearing, that shouldn't be too hard to work out. So, yeah, it's a Toy Story series. I absolutely love them. I mean, I'm, I can't believe it's 25 years old. It's just that is crazy to think that film that film series first came out 25 years ago it's over half my lifetime and probably some people watch this probably wouldn't even have been alive when the first toy that toy story came out so yeah i love that i mean i love all the pics i mean there's so many pixar films that are fantastic um i love monsters inc coco that was that was an amazing film and i still love that one now but it's got to be toy story the toy story films and for me i think toy story 2 out of all four of them is probably my favorite 
I just like I love that I love like the whole nostalgia like you know the Lizzo go back to listening to Woody's roundup music and looking at the old cartoons and stuff I just love all that kind of stuff so yeah for me Toy Story hands down love it love it love it I was so sad when the last film came out I did surprise surprise I did blart in the cinema but I weren't the only one and I'm sure there was a man next to me crying so I think it's okay for him to do it oh yeah you know anyone can cry at Toy Story you know man woman child who cares but it was a uh, yeah love it sad for it to end but brilliant film so yeah definitely for me toy story all the way okay so question six is what is your favorite disney park hands down absolutely no doubt answered this uh, magic kingdom at walt disney world all the way 100 percent no doubt in my mind i do love the other parks don't get me wrong and i you know i've been to paris as well so i like all the both parks there but magic kingdom there's just oh the moment you walk through those gates and you walk, you come around that corner and you know you're about to see the castle. Well, if you saw my last vlog series and that first at Magic Kingdom, I was just an absolute wreck. I was just, I was beside myself, I was crying for walk through the gates. I was just, there's just nothing like that. Seeing that castle and, oh, excuse me, I thought I'd put on flight mode, clearly not professional as ever. Um, yeah, seeing that castle whether it's dark, daylight, whatever time of day you see that castle at, there's just no feeling like it. And it's just, it's just, and especially like, it's like the music you're walking through, you're like, you know, see, I love walking down Main Street USA, it's like the Up, the Magic Married Life song from Up. It's just, that is classic Disney, classic Disney park. It's just, yeah, love everything about it. The atmosphere, the look of it, Main Street USA, it's just, oh, yeah, um, I do, it's just, there's no like it. I mean, I do, my second favourite is Hollywood Studios. Obviously, I know that wasn't part of the question, but I'm telling you anyway. Um, yeah, but Magic Kingdom, hands down, best park in the world. I've not been to California yet, so obviously I can't compare the two. And I know a lot of people, you know, say California's magical, which I'm sure it is, especially being Walt's Park and, you know, he, he was there, he created it from start to finish. But yeah, until I go to, until I ever go and see that, then... It's going to be Magic Kingdom for me all the way. Love it. Oh, I just can't. The moment I go back there, I'm sure I'll vlog it again. There'll be even more tears. So, uh, yeah. I'll be, have to brace yourself for that one. It's going to be an emotional one. So, uh, yeah, Magic Park all the way. So, uh, so question seven. What's your favourite Disney ride? Now, this is not an easy question. Um, yeah, this might be more I can't pick one. I think after our last trip, I just I just loved um, Flight Passage and uh, Animal Kingdom Park. It was just, oh my God. Again, if you saw that vlog series, my reaction after we went on it the first time I came out, I couldn't speak. I was just completely emotional. I, d I did cry a lot on that holiday, actually, when I think back to it. Not through sadness. It was just so many emotional moments. But yeah, that was um, incredible. My favourite ride has always been Tower, not Tower of Terror, um, rock and roller coaster. Always loved that one, even though I did put the ugliest faces on the photos. Ooh, hideous. But uh, yeah, um, Fly to Passage. That is just like a whole nother level. I mean, obviously I couldn't. I didn't vlog it, so I couldn't really show. But it, yeah, to be fair, it's one of those rides that you need to experience. Even watching it on video doesn't even do it justice. But it was especially as, as it's a three D one as well. So if you if I videoed it, it probably would look a bit crappy anyway. But yeah, that ride, if you haven't done it yet and you're going to, and you eventually go back to Disney World, do it. It's just, wow. We all loved it. Even Rob was like, yeah, that was great. And that's high praise for him because he's always like, it was all right. So uh, if we get that, that's great from Rob, you know it's bound to be good. So yeah, I think definitely, uh, obviously they'll definitely go with Flight to Passage. Obviously there's still, there's new, more, there's new rides coming out now, but obviously I've not experienced those yet. So maybe when I do Rise of the Resistance, I'd be interested, I'd be probably interesting to ask me that question again after our next Disney trip to see what it is but as it stands right now it is um Flight to Passage followed by Rock and Roller Coaster and I'm not going to go into any more because we'll be a little bit day won't we number, so number eight what is my favorite character dining experience so for us um character wise it's Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom love that one it's become a bit of a tradition now on our first day where we always go to Magic Kingdom on our first day and it's become a bit of a tradition now to go to Crystal Palace in the morning which obviously we did on our last trip just love it I just love like uh, it's hard to say why you love these things I just do it's like 
obviously I know we've been, we did a lot of character dining, we've done like Chef Mickey, they're all really great and obviously you get to see like the, you know, the, the top five characters, you know, the big characters, but like, I think you can see a lot of those characters around all the Disney parks, so to see, the, you don't really see the likes of Eeyore and Piglet very often around the park, so to have that kind of like, one-on-one -on -one time I guess with them in a restaurant is fantastic and Eeyore's my favourite Winnie the Pooh character so to give him a hug is just love it I just love him he just I feel so sorry for me he looks so sad I'm like oh come here let me give you a squeeze so yeah I love because uh, and the food is really good I've not been for anything other than breakfast so I can't say what lunch and dinner's like but we've always had a fantastic breakfast there the Pooh's French toast oh my god that was incredible um yeah, definitely, that's, it's kind of becoming like a Mills Farm tradition now, so every time, well, it's my tradition, and <laughs> what I say goes, let's be fair, um, so yeah, Crystal Palace, hands down, for Brett character, for dining experience, every day of the week, so. So, question number eight is, who is, oh, sorry, look at the phone again, who, who is your favourite Disney meet and greet? Um, obviously, I know Mickey was, obviously, my first, my best memory but I, and I love meeting Mickey and Minnie obviously because they're like like I said king and queen but I always love meeting Donald Duck he's just so funny I just there's always there's always some funny interaction where we've been at Magic Kingdom where we've been at Disney World Disneyland Paris I remember the one time in Disneyland Paris we went and Ollie Rob sorry not Ollie Rob had um, a Donald Duck backpack a Vans backpack and we queued up and he was when he was the 25th anniversary so he had all his like you know spangly gear on he looked fantastic and I remember he spotted Rob's backpack and he was just like all over him. And I think I must have had a Mickey Mouse jumper on or something. And I remember he pushed me to one side. Like I was like, oh, he was like, he like I was, ugh, get away. And he was all over Rob with his backpack. And it's just so funny. Meeting Donald is hilarious. So I think, yeah, meeting, Minnie, meeting Mickey and Minnie is probably my next one. But for number one, Donald is just hilarious. So yeah, love meeting him. It's always, there's always a story to tell after meeting him. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's my one I would choose. So question number ten is, what is my dis favourite Disney sound ride soundtrack? I think I would probably I like the Winnie the Pooh Adventures soundtrack actually. I just I've got it on. Like, I downloaded a CD years a few years ago. It's a Disneyland um, it's a Disneyland one. It got all the ride music and stuff. And I think whenever I hear the Winnie the Pooh one, I just love it. It's just fun and yeah. I, it's kind of hard to pick one really. I love Grim Grinning Ghosts as well from um, Haunted Mansion. Rock and Roller Coaster as well. I love that, but that's not really a Disney soundtrack I don't suppose because obviously it's Aerosmith. Um, what else do I like? I have all the answers to men. As soon as you come to do it I'm just like pfft. But um, you're always going to get that with me so might as well get it out of the way now. Yeah I think Winnie the Pooh and... Yeah, Grim Grinning Ghosts, I think they're probably my favourite too. I'm sure one will pop into my head afterwards I finish it, but I'm going to leave it at that because I've already given one more as I probably should have done anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm sticking to my guns on this one. So, number 11, who's my favourite Disney villain? So, ultimate for me is Ursula. I just love her. Um, I've loved her since I was a kid because what I think Little Mermaid for me is one of like the film, the main film that I remember coming out when I was younger. I think it was about, I was about nine years old and I just love Ursula. I mean, I think... If she probably wasn't in a bad mood, she'd probably be a right laugh to go out with, to be fair. And look, as you get older, you kind of understand sometimes the villains a little bit more. <laughs> they were probably the way they were. Um, yeah, but she's just my fact. She looks amazing. She just... There's just something about her that I can't describe why, but... Yeah. She's the, the queen of the villains for me, I think. Yeah, love her. But obviously, she's not sort of the character you ever get to meet. I don't know if it's ever possible to meet her. Probably not. But yeah, she's someone if I ever could meet a Disney villain, be, I'd love it to be her. So maybe one day, you never know. And if anyone does know you can meet her, please let me know because that would be uh, pretty amazing. Um, so next question. Mickey's not so scary Halloween party or Mickey's very merry Christmas party. So I've done both. Um, I've done the Halloween party twice, obviously in our last trip and in 2008 when we went with my family. Uh, we've done the, the merry Christmas parties one in 2015 with Ollie. Um, to choose, I think I'm more of a Christmas person than Halloween. I love both, but I think I would choose the Christmas party. Um, I'd love to do that again. I hope I am trying to persuade Rob to go December next year. I've I've been researching prices. <laughs> I just can't help myself. It's like it gives me something to do, and 
just something to look forward to the thought of even if we never do it just just nice to look at prices but yeah um i think the, the christmas party for me is probably more it's probably my favorite um i loved like the christmas parade the christmas fireworks obviously you get to what you get the snow coming down main street you get um you don't have to like, have a like, trick or treating girl i think it's like last time we went it was like you could have free hot chocolates and the different like cookies or it might be one type of cookie at the time and i don't know if they've changed it now so it's more variety but yeah, it was it was really nice. It was just it was just lovely. The only thing I'd probably say about the Halloween party is probably you get to meet more characters that you probably wouldn't normally see. You know, like villains and like Snow White characters. I don't think you can meet those at the Christmas party. I'm pretty sure you can't, but I'm sure someone will tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, Christmas. And obviously, when we went in 2015, we got we were very lucky to see the Osborne family lights as well, which was the last year they did them. So I would love it if Disney brought them back. They were amazing. So if anyone's seen them, let me know your thoughts on them because they were they were pretty special. But yeah, definitely for me, I think Christmas party wins over Halloween party. So number 13, what's my favourite Disney collectible? Um, I've got quite a lot of different things I've collected. I probably, it's probably a toss up between all my mini ears. So I counted up earlier, I've actually got 28 pairs <laughs> with another one on the way. Um, Oh, excuse me so I'm sure there's going to be many more to that collection I mean I can't just do subtle and do one or two I have to kind of go all in um obviously the other collectibles I've probably if you follow me on Instagram you'll notice is the Minnie Mouse main attraction they have been a bit of a hassle I'm not gonna lie anyone who's collected them will know it's it's a stressful game it's not and it's not something I'll be doing again in a hurry I think if I say to Rob I'm gonna do another one next year he's probably gonna divorce me if he says you're an absolute nightmare and <laughs> He has a good point because when you can't get on the website and it's just you're trying to refresh and refresh and the next thing you know you see 15 of the same item on eBay for two or three, four times the price. It is frustrating. But it's my last one to collect. Well, December now. So yeah, it's the last one this month. So I'll be glad it's done. I've got all the plushies. I've got all the pins. I've got the pin book as well to keep them in. And I've got some of the years. I still, I've got, probably got the last, I've got June... And I didn't get July and I've got everything up until then so far. I would love to get the Space Mountaineers, but unless I'm planning on selling the kidney, I can't be forward them any time soon because they are just going crazy prices. Absolute. Sometimes they come through on it because I sometimes watch on eBay and they're coming through at like something like $400. And I'm like, as much as I love them and as much as I want them, I'm not prepared to pay that much for a pair of $30 ears. I don't, I don't even expect it to pay like, you know, retail price nowadays, but... Yeah, so I don't think I'll ever fully collect all these in that collection. But you never know your luck. I mean, who knows? But they're probably my favourite collectibles in my Disney collection. Uh, so number 14, what is my most unique Disney collectible? I don't really think I've got anything particularly unique as such. Um, I'd say I'll think about it. There's nothing really I've kind of got that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure I'll probably didn't think about it afterwards. But the only thing I did find was clearing out the loft a few weeks ago. This might sound really weird, but like stuff I bring back from Disney holidays and it's just all shoved in the loft and I found these. <laughs> if anyone, I don't, a bit blurry. The old toiletries from the Disney hotel room. I don't know if that's... And then a little shampoo and conditioner. I mean, I wouldn't say that's unique because you obviously can get them in all hotel rooms, but probably the most un oh, unusual, I don't know. Difficult question to answer that one really, but yeah, these I just found and it's amazing <laughs> the stuff I come across that I've brought back from Disney holidays. So I might do a vlog about that in the near future because it's it's quite surprising the things you forgot that you had. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll do a vlog on that, who knows. But I think that's the only thing I can really think of to answer that question is these. Still in the packet, I'm never going to use them, which is kind of silly really, but yeah. Who doesn't love a Disney toiletry, especially when they're free? <laughs> and next question, moving on, is what is your favourite what is your favourite Walt Disney quote? Now I can never remember this off the top of it, so I do apologise. I'm gonna have to read it off the <laughs> professional as ever. So the way to get so my favourite quote is the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. And yeah, I think you know, we can all be guilty of that, yeah, I wanna do this, wanna do that. I want to lose weight, I want to do that. We all talk about it, but we never actually kind of put it into action. So I think that quote, for me personally, is quite appropriate. So yeah, if there's something, when I wanted to do it, when I wanted to do vlogging, 
I learned, I did it when I wanted to learn how to edit it afterwards, I learned myself. So I think that applies, that definitely applies to me in my life. Um, I mean, to be fair, how do you pick a quote, quote from Walt Disney? I mean, he says the most amazing things. It's really hard to narrow down, but for me, that one applies more to me, and that's probably why I think that is my favourite quote from the great man himself. Right, I'd have to scroll back and find the questions where I got to. So, 16, who is my favourite Disney princess? Now, again, I can't pinpoint it down to one, I'm really sorry. Um, for me, it's always been Ariel. I've always loved Ariel ever since I was a little kid. Again, like I said, that was probably like the biggest film I remember coming out when we were little. Um, I suppose, you know, it's like, I guess it was like the Frozen of, you know, my day, I suppose, because, it, you know, I think Disney went for a bit of a patch. I'm not really, I can't really say for certain that films weren't that big, maybe around that time. And obviously The Little Mermaid came out and kind of brought everything back, you know, they things like Aladdin afterwards, you know, really big hits. So for me, I just love The Little Mermaid. I love, yeah, I love Ariel. And my second one I love is Rapunzel. I just love her. I just think... She's just such a lovely character. She's a worrier, which is very much like me. Um, not saying I'm an hater in any way, but she's just, I just love, I love her kind of like zest for life. <laughs> if, if you, you know, you know, wanting to seek adventure. I just think she's just such a fun character. And she wears purple, which is my favourite colour. So uh, again, a funny reason to choose a favourite. But yeah, I, I just, there's just something about it. I love that film as well. It's just such a good film. And uh Disney, get a Tangled ride. Forget the, the Tangled toilets are lovely, but I want a Tangled ride, so uh, sort it out, please. So, thank you. Uh, number 17, another one I can't answer one question. What is my favorite Disney snack? So, Dole Whip float all the way. Now, would you class a snack as a drink? Because it is kind of a drink, obviously with a Dole Whip on top. So Disney, Dole Whip Float for me first, first and foremost, absolutely 100%, love it, just, oh, they're amazing. And the good thing is Rob and Ollie don't like them, so I haven't got to share it. And then probably my second, well, maybe second and third, sorry, is Churro, love a Disney Churro. They're just, oh, amazing. And the last thing we tried on our Disney, last Disney, well, me and Ollie tried, tried it, because Rob was sick at the time, was the Cheshire Cat's Tail from Magic Kingdom, and it's like um, a long... I guess it's almost like um, a chocolate croissant, but like a plat with like blue, I not blue, sorry, purple icing all on it. But oh my God, that was amazing. So there's so many Disney snacks. So to pick one, to pick three is a struggle, but to pick one is impossible. But yeah, I think if I had to go for anything as my ultimate, first thing I have to have, Dole Whip Float, or don't, Dole Whip Float. That's a mouthful, isn't it? All the way, yeah. Love it. Can't wait to have one, hopefully I'll say soon. Eventually. So yeah, looking forward to that. And ooh, Olaf number 18 is Olaf or Sven. Olaf, no doubt about it. Love Olaf, hilarious. Sven's very cute and all, don't get me wrong, but Olaf is just hilarious. He, who, who could not choose Olaf? Yeah, love him. Love him, love him, love him. And then 19, what is your favourite underrated Disney movie? Now, I we really look, well, oh, Ollie should, me, I, me, blah, 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 blah. me and Ollie love, um, Oh, Meet the Robinsons, really good film. Oh my God, it's really emotional in parts. I don't know if anyone, you know, many of you have seen it or, you know, maybe it's what you think of it, but oh God, it's really sad in parts. It's just, I just don't think it's kind of got the recognition it's deserved. And it's, you know, I think a lot of people want to forget about it, but that for me is probably my, mine and Ollie's most underrated uh, Disney film. So I don't know if you agree. I'd be quite intrigued what your, what your decision is for that one. And then I think we're at question 20. I do apologise, keep looking down at my phone, but I can't remember everything. So number 20, last question, Marvel or Star Wars? Star Wars, no doubt about it. I'm married to a Star Wars nut. Ollie's a big Star Wars fan. Um, don't shoot me for what I'm about to say, but I've not really seen any of the Marvel films. I know, bad, isn't it? Um, I've just never, quite, it's just never happened. Whenever Rob's been to the cinema, he had always gone with his mates or was taken Ollie, or was gone with his brothers possibly, so I've never, by the time they've watched one of that, I wouldn't be bothered to go back again to see it with them. So I've never, the only kind of like Spider-Man films I watched years ago was when like Tobey Maguire was Spider-Man, and I don't even think I've seen the Andrew Garfield one, so I should watch them really, because obviously like now, Disney's expanding so much more with Marvel, I should see them. I mean, I'm sure it's something I'll get around to eventually, but for us, for me, Star Wars, 
I mean, I'm not a massive, I'm not like, like Rob is when it comes to soul. I don't know all the, everything or, you know, a lot about much, but if I, if you had a choice between this, yeah, Star Wars all the way for me. So, uh, yeah. Right, so that's all the questions answered. So thank you very much for sticking this to the end. Um, so obviously as the Disney tag video, I'm going to tag three other YouTubers as well. So I'm going to tag um, Scott and Amy and their channel is Scott and Amy. So I'll link them below. And there's also Helen Mingello I like to tag with her channel's the same name. And I'd like to tag my other friend, Emma, whose channel is Polka Dots and Pixie Dust. All three fantastic channels. So uh, I'll tag you. Know, so it's up to you if you want to go for it. So uh, choice is yours. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. It's been uh, fun. I've been dying to do it. Well, like I said, I've been dying to do one of these. So it's been quite fun to... Uh, do this and sometimes you don't realize like sometimes the question is actually quite hard to answer um yes yeah, so i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing next so hopefully there'll be another vlog next week um follow me on i oh, know i never say i always forget this follow me on instagram as well dreaming of disney 24 7 same chat um same name i'll link my channel below i'll link my um, instagram below even um you know if you've enjoyed this video give it a big old thumbs up very much appreciated press the notification bell to know when my next video is coming up and um, subscribe because it'd be really great if you could support my channel and as always the ears they are buzz like you so from uh, bespoke stitches co again as always i will link her below so yeah thank you for watching i hope you are all doing okay lockdown is nearly over so obviously depending on what tier you're in i hope you can uh, maybe get back to a bit mm, is there a normality right now i don't know but uh Whatever you do, and I hope you're doing it safely and take care and love you all lots. So, bye.